some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kansas where a uh, sovtard uh, from the military, believe it or not, refused to uh, comply with the processing after he was found in contempt of court and then spent seven days in jail as a result of it. I mean, this guy right here is a perfect example of what the, the Project 100,000 fiasco was all about back during the Vietnam era. I mean, this guy is a perfect candidate for that. And if you don't know what that is, just simply uh, look up Project 100,000 and uh, you'll definitely see, well, how that went and you'll appreciate the movie Forrest Gump more. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, and that brings us to Mr. Johnson. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. We are on the record in 2024, TR 541, State of Kansas versus Danny Lewis Johnson, County Attorney Jill Gillette for the state, Mr. Johnson, appearing in person and in custody and pro se. Now, Mr. Johnson, I just saw you, I believe, last week, and uh, I ordered that you be held for a limited time for contempt of court, and then I understand the military put a hold on you. Now, I'm no uh, expert on the UCMJ, but uh, given what I see here that he's uh, been in a civilian jail for so long. Something tells me that the military is not going to take too kindly on uh, this uh, Sovtar that they brought into their service. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there might be a bit of a court martial in this uh, idiot's future. But what do you say, guys? Do you think that's what's going to happen to him? And what would be the... Uh, uh, the uh, punishment for this, I mean, demotion in rank, uh, uh, less than honorable discharge. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. Um, they were having some problems with you cooperating with picture and prints. Are we past that? Did you get your picture and prints taken? I did not, ma'am. Why did you not do that? Because I didn't feel like it was, uh, I was here for a criminal offense and there was no jurisdiction for me to get fingerprints and uh, photo mail. Let me ask you something. Uh, did you ask the military if they had jurisdiction to uh, photograph you or uh, get your fingerprints when you enlisted? Besides, you committed the infraction in their uh, little area, so you are in their jurisdiction. So that's definitely a load of BS right there. But let me tell you something, dude. That's the reason why you were still in there to begin with for longer than you should have been because you refused to identify yourself pretty much. You refused to uh, get fingerprinted and everything like that. I mean, that was a totally dumbass move. What do you think your superiors would say when you get back to base? I mean, what kind of explanation would you give them uh, about uh, saying you were not under the jurisdiction of the civilian authority in that area? I'm sure that your uh, superior officers would chew you a new asshole. All right, we understand that you need to do that. You're probably not going to get released until you do that. Okay. But in any event, you're also here today on a new case. And this is 2024 TR 541. You're charged in count one with operating a vehicle while displaying an expired or improper license plate on August 13th of 2024. So Apparently, before you went into custody, the officers saw you driving, and uh, they may even have that on video if you did it around the courthouse. But in any event, that is a misdemeanor. It's called an unclassified misdemeanor. It carries a fine up to $2,500. It carries a sentence of 30 days up to six months. 
Then in count two, they're saying that you hadn't registered the car. So you were driving without a legal registration. That also is an unclassified misdemeanor as charged. Another $2,500 possible fine and another possible 30 days to six months in jail. Now, Mr. Johnson, I can give you a bond on this, but it looks like you want to just keep sitting there because you can't make bond if you won't. Your Honor, it, it is my intent. I, first of all, I'm not here to uh, frustrate or to, um, I'm not here to frustrate or to disrupt your court or to make anything just simply understand. That's all I want to understand. Uh, as far as the plea, uh, as far as the charge of mis misdemeanor, I don't, I'm trying to understand is that a criminal or civil offense? But I don't want to get into that today. Uh, so it is my regard to ask you, Your Honor, and, and request in regard to the Eighth Amendment that Greenwood Court discharge our administrator a fair fine according to the historical data of registration violated violation in this county. That's all I ask for now. At this point, you know, I don't want to get into a, whether it's criminal or whether it's whatever. Mm -hmm. But, at the, you know, according to the Eighth Amendment, I just want to verify as if anybody who was driving a vehicle, given I was not driving my vehicle, of course, you held me in contempt. They brought me up and arrested me in contempt. So I don't know how they got me for operating a vehicle. Well, dude, I'm sure uh, the uh, officers could uh, show you driving the vehicle on their cameras around the courthouse and their body cams, their dash cams, and other cameras that were in the area. And as far as the Eighth Amendment goes, uh, what does that have to do with the contempt of court charge or anything else for that matter? I mean, you were the one who refused to... Uh, well, get fingerprinted and everything like that. And the judge is about to explain that to you, that if you just fingerprint, they'll let you out. Well, they apparently saw you do it on your way into court. You were well, that's what I, I, I'm not, what I'm not, what I'm saying is, that's a, it's a burden of proof on the state for that. Right. Once again, the cameras are the proof. The video evidence is the proof. I mean, what kind of moron are you? But of course, I'm sure you're going to be saying I wasn't driving, I was traveling and all that other garbage. But you know what? That doesn't really work in any court. I, I'm not going to say they saw me. I don't know what they saw. But right. to, to for, far as I can notice, when you held me in contempt, they went out and searched my car, which was a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. They never issued me a search warrant. They never told me my vehicle was suspected in a, a crime investigation or any kind of criminal uh, intent or doing anything. So my car was searched. Well, you were arrested and you did arrive in there somehow. I mean, if your car was there, did it drive itself in there? But at any rate, that's not exactly a violation of the Fourth Amendment. You were arrested, dude. Okay. So when they search my car, I have multiple witnesses that saw it. When they search my car, they pulled everything out of my car. And I guess when they didn't find them, then the violation come. I would never issue a citation for the violation. I was just put on lockdown for the last seven days. Well, I think, you, as I understand it, you were put on lockdown because you wouldn't go through booking and processing. They couldn't get you entered into their system. Gotcha, bitch. No, you well, refuse to get your fingerprints and you refuse to uh, get your photograph and rather than manhandle you and and wrestle you and get you to take your pictures and prints, they had to just put you somewhere safe until you would cooperate. But, but that that's wasn't what the I've heard. I don't know that for a fact. Well, well, if you look at the video, that is not that is inaccurate. When I came in, I was told I was well, going to be. OK, sir, we'll talk about that just a little bit. Do okay. you need an attorney to represent you on these I, charges? I, I do not. I just want to like I asked, I, I'm just requesting that in regards to the Eighth Amendment, the Greenwood right. Court discharge. Well, that is not going to be that is not going to be addressed today. Today, I need to know if you want an attorney. You're waiving your right to an attorney. You don't want to hire an attorney. You don't want to apply for court appointed? 
So what are the fines, Your Honor? Well, as I said, each one of these counts carries a maximum possible fine up to $2,500. Okay. And each one of them carries a possible jail sentence of 30 days to six months. Okay. Although probation is off, often an option. Well, I what I would rather for you to just issue me a fine today. If you issue me a fine, I'll pay the fine. Well, I cannot guarantee you what your sentence will be. That would be inappropriate to try to give you a to negotiate with you and give you a fine before you're or if you're convicted. Now, wow, dude, are you sure you don't want a lawyer? Because you seem a bit lost at this point. I mean, you're trying to negotiate a deal when there hasn't been a trial yet. I mean, aren't you jumping ahead of this a little bit? Maybe if you waived your right to counsel uh, and you wanted to proceed today, I don't know if Ms. Gillette would tell you what her recommendations would be. I'm not bound as a judge to follow the recommendations, but again, typically I do, but I don't have to. Um, or you can get an attorney that can represent your rights and can help you file these motions or help you weigh your defense and decide how you want to proceed. Well, all I'm asking you, Honor, if, if you get pulled over, and you get a speed. No, we're not ticket. gonna do that, sir. I just need all to I want to know is the fine. Like normally when you get a ticket or a citation, somebody I've give you, told you that. I've told uh. you that. Okay. So which way do you want to go on that? Do you want an attorney or not? I do not. Okay. Do you want to sign a written waiver of attorney? No, I do not. All right, but for the record, you do not want an attorney. I do not. And no one's making you give up your right to an attorney? No. And you understand that you could apply for court appointed if you cannot afford an attorney? I do not want an attorney. I understand. Right. I do not want an attorney. All right. I will show on the record, both in the docket note and journal entries, that you do not want an attorney. You've given up any right to an attorney. You intend to represent yourself on these charges. Is that right? Uh, possibly, yes. And uh, you were here last week on speeding 82 and a 65 and no insurance. Are you waiving your right to an attorney on those charges in 2024 TR 22 as well? No, I answer that when I go to court on the 27th. I think you scheduled a court hearing for the 27th. I did, and I am going to set this case today on the 27th at 9 a.m. as well. So both cases will be set September 27th, 2024 at 9 a.m. You've waived your right to attorney, uh, at least on this case. I, I'd have to review the record to see if you did last week or not. But like you said, we can revisit that. At your next court date. Ms. Gillette, in all of that confusion last week, did we set a bond in the other case? You can check those. If you don't have that handy, I can check the record. Judge, he yeah. had a warrant for failure to appear for a thousand dollar cash surety. Um, so he actually had I paid the thousand dollars. Sure. The cash of a thousand dollars. It is a cash bond that the court is holding of a thousand dollars. All right. Okay. So that charge, that charge, you're free to go anytime you want to, as long as you go through the booking process. You've already, I would consider, even though the jail doesn't show you as being processed because you refuse to cooperate with the processing, which means fingerprints uh pictures signing a bond i would consider you having satisfied your contempt i think you've served enough time far more than i intended for you to well your honor maybe it wasn't enough for him maybe he wanted to spend a week in jail uh just for the fun of it i mean that would be a good explanation as to the reason why he didn't want to cooperate with the process and uh screw everything up in his uh, own little way. 
But you know what? I also have a little thought in my head. Uh, I know it's a bit too late uh, for this kind of thing, but maybe he's a leftover from uh, the McNamara era from Vietnam, even though he'd be a bit too young for that. Yeah, maybe he would be one of the Project 100,000 guys uh, from that time period. It would explain his stupidity. It's been a week now, but you're going to have to go through the booking process. And then the, I don't know what the military's intention is, but I understand. Is it your understanding they have a hold on you, sir? They always put a hold on uh, everything. Anytime a soldier get picked up, they put a hold for pickup. Okay. So, and I don't know if they'll go along with, I don't know if it's a game you're playing or what you're doing where you think that, you won't have to respond if if you won't be booked, but at some point. Oh, I, I I'll be here, Your Honor. I mean, I even but even for the thirteen, I had to let my command know that I had a court hearing and I showed up. I, I'm not I'm not the, a person that want to run from the law. I ain't got time to be running. I face whatever before me. Bullshit! Bullshit! And that's just who I am. All right. Um, so I, I have no. I'm go sorry, ahead. go ahead. No, I'm sorry, you go ahead. I have no intent of trying to hide from the, this this challenge uh, because it's, all it is a challenge, you know. Sure. I didn't see it going to this extent as being re registration violation. If you're going to give me a registration violation, give me a fine, then I pay the fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. And I had to deal with that from a different aspect. But at the same time, it's just like they gave me a uh, fine for speeding. You gave me a fine to pay, I was going to pay the fine and just let it be. But at the same time, it's like, okay, now I got a registration with violation. Give me the fine. I feel, give me the fine. I pay the fine. The military picked me up. I deal with that. They don't tow my car. So I really need to get out of here, Detroit, because if I don't get out of here, they're going to sell my car. Well, you, you go and get your picture and prints taken, sign your new bond, and you can go on my counts, on my charges. Now, I don't know. You, you know, you're still going to have to deal with Well, them. I know if you release me, the military are going to pick me up. I understand that. And are you not wanting to be picked up? Is that why you refuse? No, no, no. That's the only way I'm going to get out of here. All right. No, I'm not running for nobody. All right. Then you get in there and get let that officer get your picture and prints taken. I'm going to order that you do that. And if you don't, then we're going to have to do more. I ain't got no, if you saying I can leave, fingerprint, and that's what I asked them uh, last week. Would I be able to leave if I give y'all fingerprints and photos? They well, told me no. Because you've now, I think, because you've got that military hold. And I was fine with that, but I was asking about that, Your Honor. I'm not trying to drag this along, but I asked them about that. Is the military going to be allowed to come pick me up? And they told me no. I won't be able to leave until I come before you. So well, you do I need wait to take to... care of your charges here before you go. That's okay. All right. I will. But... I will allow them to fingerprint me and take a photo. And if you saying on I can be cases, released on both cases, well, I've got you've served your contempt, and that's what I sent you into jail for. Now I'll we'll give you a bond, and you're going to have to post the bond in the new case, Miss Gillette. Any recommendations on that bond? Two counts of registration. Judge, they're both unclassified misdemeanors he's also got some other potential charges mm. for the disruption in court that i am reviewing um mm. and that's that's the other issue that i've got um okay so there may be another issue mr mr johnson but I'm going to set it at a $500 bond. You can either post cash or work with a bondsman. I got cash. If I could put it on my card, I got cash. All right. I don't know what the rules and procedures are, but $500 cash bond. It's two counts of registration. I think that's appropriate. And uh, then if you make those two bonds and, and uh, there aren't any other charges against you through Greenwood County, then I will see you in court on the 27th. Well, man, how would I, I? What I don't want to happen is, I go out here and post, and then all of a sudden there's another charge. Then I'm stuck here for another seven days to see you. So I, I just want to give y'all what y'all need, so I can get out of here and have my day in court. That's all I want. 
Well, I think an attorney could help you immensely accomplish your goals, but you don't want an attorney to help you. So no. All right. Well, I, I, think I, I just like I said, I'm I'm okay with doing the fingerprints, uh, doing the photos, paying the five hundred dollar bond, and being released to the military. Okay. And I guess I'll at that point I'll see you again on the twenty seventh. Right. Yeah, I, I just don't want the military to take you away from me, though, and not let me get you back for a while. That wouldn't be any good. But that's what no, I told you. They don't that's what I that. told you too, and that that's what I'm sticking to. But now I can't tell you. I have if Miss Gillette has a job to do, and if she has other violations and she charges them, I I can't help that. I'll have to <laughs> have, call you back in on new charges. But that's that's what I'm telling you right now concerning the two cases I've seen you on. Okay. All right. Anything further, Ms. Gillette? Not right now. All right. Anything further, Mr. Johnson? No, just want to get out of here and go handle my other affairs that I got. Understood. All right. Thank you, sir. We're in recess. I swear, this guy makes Forrest Gump look smart. And that's saying something. I mean, I'm beginning to wonder uh, how he managed to make it past the... Uh, uh, military IQ tests because, well, yeah, I'm sure he would definitely be on the lower end of the spectrum of that. I mean, he probably just barely passed. I mean, these days the military has rather strict standards uh, for IQ than they did during the uh, Project 100,000 uh, fiasco. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?